Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as the recording of this Tuesday, the 4th of July. God bless America. Today we will have the most patriotic day in the history of the United States. Baseball, airplanes, fireworks. We saw fireworks last time. We see fireworks today. Uh, dude, it's the 4th of July and we're in Florida. If we don't see fireworks, I'm going to be disappointed. I could get some, we could get some sparklers or maybe some of those little snaky things. We'll throw them up in the air and run. It'll be a good time. The Rays wear an appropriate hat versus the Phillies today. It's I'm wearing an appropriate hat. By the way, I'm going to talk a lot of trash in this video. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I'm inviting you to join me, Philly captain, and Tampa Jay a little bit later at the Trop. But first... Do you, want to, do you want to do it? Join us, shall you? Well, we're starting off here in celebration where they're about to do a parade in the Penn State Parade. And from here, we're going to go over and to Bay Lake Tower Contemporary and see the Blue Angels, which are going to go and fly above Cinderella Castle. So we're going to see a parade, Blue Angels, drive the commute to St. Pete, Go to a game at Tropicana Field. There's a really good turnout down here. You just see all of Market Street bustling with people waiting for the parade. All right, Got the horses rolling down Market Street here. And golf cart going by here. Oh yeah, and the American flag making its way through celebration as well. That is pretty cool. Good size, good size flag. Oh, there's the Mr. Toad type car that I've never seen actually driving around. I've seen it parked a bunch of times. the amount of classic car this they're full of energy right here they're full of a lot of energy and at this very moment because it is a holiday not a whole heck of a lot of rush hour traffic where is it there it is Sky kind of blended in a little bit with the Mickey Power Pole. All right, have parked over here at the Contemporary, and now going to head up, get a little bird's eye perspective of planes that are going to fly over the castle from up there. All right, before we head to the top level of this, I want to share a little presidential. You like you like presidential history. I love American history. So you know Richard Nixon. I am not a crook. That speech. Yes. It happened right behind this -uh. door, right here. Nah. -uh. Right in here. So this is where it happens. Oh, it's locked. The ballroom. I thought, I thought usually the door's open. Does it look the same? I'll tell you, I'm not a crook. So basically all the media was here. Right. And the podium was right here in this very spot. They had a backdrop, but there's a couple clips you can see and you can see, you have to kind of dig deep, but you can see the top of the roof looking like this. It kind of had like a backdrop there podium was here and he stood right there behind the podium so my fingers would be the podium he was behind the podium right there i think he walked in that door that came in which door he walked in but this is the room this is the very room and all the national media and the reporters were all right here that's probably one of the most quoted presidential quotes seriously like people may do it ironically but everybody knows that line that dude this is happened right here in a contemporary amazing Goosebumps. I got goosebumps. Ah, oh, it's awesome. All right, I'm gonna order a coffee over here as the monorail pulls by the very famous Mary Blair mural. And we're gonna go up towards the top and then out on the lanai. I like to discuss business on lanai, but I will watch a plane fly over on the lanai. Going with a little Joffrey's blend here. The dark roast. I got a little bit of hazelnut in there. Hold on, do this. And I'm gonna fill it up, get a little coffee get this July 4th kicking it off a little piping hot caffeinated beverage and it looks like there's already people up there on the balconies on the outside and try to go to the top balcony and then overlook the castle and get that good view and we could go one more level up to the roof however no shade up there at all but we have climbed to the top of this area I see a lot of people on the balconies and this is gonna be the view looking across Space Mountain and the castle, and the Blue Angels. Really such a good view from up here. 
second to the top floor. Got our cardio going up those steps, that's for sure. Oh, that's pretty good. So you got the monorail blue going by, and you also got the train doing the Grand Circle Tour down there as well. And you can even see the Beast's Castle off in the distance. Okay, they are... Something just happened above the castle. So once that uh, subsides just a little bit, the plane should fly by not long after that. Everyone waiting patiently. You can see every level is completely full. Everyone with their cameras ready for this historic here moment. Here they come. We're over there. Even the cast members are up here. They're coming in. You see them? You sure you had? There they come. gas nozzle over here. Price of fuel on the way to Tampa, $3.33 per gallon. All right, we have checked into our hotel in St. Petersburg, and now we're walking by Janus Live. You might appreciate this. You remember the uh, survival of the fattest compilations and all those? One of the greatest albums ever made. Yes, of course. So the Fat Records compilations, I saw no effects here back in the heavy petting zoo days. Back there? But I ended up, the merch guy for no effects wanted, wanted people to hand out the CDs, and I stood up here and I helped No Effects hand out the Fat Records comp right up there. Survivor of the Fattest too. Yeah, right. Survival. Of, I don't remember if Survival it was one. Survival of the Fattest. It was the heavy. It was the era of No Effects heavy petting zoo era. Whatever Survival of the was Fattest the opening that was. Song. Uh, All the leaves are brown. It might have been Diesel Boy. Diesel Boy was on that one. Titty Twister. What's the name of the song? That's. I mean, that's the name of the song. You can't get. You can't get mad at me for cursing. I know you're gonna get mad at me for cursing. I'm sorry. Buddy. Yeah, it was snuff, bouncing souls, and no effects. Do you know? So you know, you know what the band name before they were snuff was called? <clears throat> guns and Wankers. Oh, I have a Guns and. I put Guns and Wankers was an after uh, a side project of no, the no. singer. No, no, it was the first. Maybe it was same singer. Yeah, yeah. Both. Singer. The singer of the band's the drummer. I love that. When you check out snuff. Yep. S N U F F U K. They were great. Oh. See, I like that. I like that you like baseball and punk rock. We could talk about a lot of different things together. Yeah. Except my team's better. Huh? How many World Series trophies do your team have? Continuing my punk rock in the '90s and into the early 2000s, and then playing in a band and past late 2000s, 2000, 2000, 2001. This used to be the State Theater. I saw No Use for a Name, Guttermouth. I think Fishbone I saw in there. Fishbone, MX, come on. MXPX in there. Wow. I saw everyone and anyone in the 90s before I even started playing music inside the State Theater, now called the Floridian. How that was far? like teriyaki moto days of Guttermouth. How far away did you live from here? Uh, in St. Cloud. So where we left in celebration, about two hour commute, add another half hour onto there. So it was a two and a half hour Five Rounds. hours of driving for a 45 minute concert. To see a punk band. Yeah. That was three dollars to see. Which was the best punk concert you ever saw? Oh, that's a that's a loaded question. Huh? No, it's not. Andrew WK. Boom. Done. That's my answer. All right. You got one? Now we long, uh, walk along this strip of many, many bars. There is uh, some home plates here. I guess the Cardinals used to spring train here way back in the day. So there's a lot of Cardinals met stuff going through here. Would you say, when you think of your least favorite teams, is the Mets one of them? Well, today, the, my least favorite team is the Tampa Bay Rays. But, uh, yeah, usually it's the New York Mets. I hate them. 
Uh, I also hate the Atlanta Braves, the Miami Marlins. The, the H is a big word. But yeah, yeah, I hate the New York Yankees. All right, this is the world famous Ferg's where parking is $30. We parked over at the hotel for 18, but right over there, there's your first look at Tropicana Field, also known as the Trop. What's your first impression of seeing that? A little dump. Yeah? What a dump. I mean, so, uh, before you start really kind of digging deep, because I know you're just going to go into your into your, into your your persona and your bit and all that whole thing. No bit. No, no bit. bit. This is honesty. That's a so, But one thing, let's say one thing positive about seeing a closed dome in the summer heat about Tropicana Field. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, I'm excited to see indoor baseball. This is my first indoor baseball game. Yeah. No lie. I'm not one of those baseball purists who needs to be outside. Yo, we walked a mile, I lost 45 pounds sweating. Okay. I, I'm for it. I'm like, I, I'm all about the air conditioning. I hate the team, and it looks like a dump. <laughs> but other than that, it's great. All right. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Phil. Let's go, Phil, right? So do you guys have like a, do you guys have a local bar that you would call the local Philly bar? Because we have Ferg's, established 1992. What's the Philly bar? We don't have a bar near our stadium. The Gasparilla ship for Ferg's. Also, Tampa Jay has arrived. Hello. As well. Up. Sunshine okay. City time. Sunshine. Independence Day. City. I, I say it's more Just, of a humidity city than sunshine. Yeah, I would say so. It's like a swamp. It's yeah. not the heat, it's the humidity to say, but you know what? It really is the heat. Oh, One okay. clever announcement they make at Ferg's, they say if there's a rain delay, that anyone can come back over and get free beer. They serve free beer if there's a rain delay. There will not be a rain delay. Yeah, but it's one, indoors. It's indoors. Right. Nobody gets free but beer. one day I'm always thinking, what happens if the roof caves in? They're going to have a lot. It, or lightning strikes it? I think he's precise. He said rain delay. And again, I'm glad the trop is indoors because cool, crisp 72 degrees. I said it's sunny and warm out. Ooh, they're going to have a band out here. It is time going in to the trop, out of the heat, out of the sun, through gate one. All right, heading in. All-Star Randy Arozarena up there. We got three guys on the All-Star this year. How many of the Phillies got going to the All-Star game? How many guys the Phillies got going in? Well, yeah, but how many of the Phillies are going to the All-Star game this year? It's a shame the All-Star game doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that. All right, I got the flag here. Raise the ball, Welcome to Tropicana. Ladies, ladies, what's that? Deal. <laughs> DJ Kitty, happy Independence Day. Good to see you. You see the bell, the championship ring here. Very nice. Who's gonna win this game? Yeah. Rays, right? Yo, guess what, DJ Kitty? Cats don't even know what. I <laughs> the cats got his tongue. You got his tongue. <laughs> I respect the mascot. Right here, I respect the mascot. I can't trash the mascot. <laughs> Take two. Take two. Yo, what's that on your? Uh, what is that? Is that the oak? Oh, it's not the Raven, everybody's wondering on the internet, what are you? What is Raymond? Are you... <laughs> like the fanatic, he's a, a, a monster from the Galapagos Island. Where are you from? He's trying to catch the Phillies home run, but he can't because it's out of his glove. This is definite. Oh, we got to take you to the museum at some point. Oh, yeah. The museum. You can see uh, the couple of items that we have. I can't wait to see the 2008 American League Championship. You just got to rub it in all day. It's all day. I will tell you this. You, you, you drove an hour just to hear me talk trash. All day. I wore this jersey to every game, and every game I wore this jersey to this season to raise a point. So good luck. And it smells like he wears that jersey every game. And there was a point where they used to not they used to not even have a net over this, and sometimes the home run balls would get caught by the Rays themselves. What are you doing? Doing my impression of the Houston Astros. Oh, okay. all right. Bumped into Cowbell Max here. Where were we were one year ago today? One year ago today, we were at a sold-out Fenway Park, yep. making dreams come true and memories for life. And I can't thank you enough and Jay for you guys' We're friendship, there. man. You guys dude. have been so amazing, man. And I love you guys both. Yeah, oh, awesome. dude. And now we're back for another July 4th game. Yes, sir. It should be a tradition Absolutely. to go to a baseball game every year on July 4th. Dude. 
But from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, buddy. You guys are the best. Thanks, man. Good to see you, dude. Cowbell Max. Oh, let's go raise, baby. You bet for prosperity. Who's gonna win today? A great baseball, baby. Great baseball, baby. Woo! Let's go. You heard it. With juice already, baby. Where's your energy? Act like you've been there before, jerks. Got some items over here from the 2020 World Series. This is this this is the spot you're looking for. 2008. Right over here. I was just on the 2008. Oh, that's so cool. Look, I got that program. I had that program. That was your guys' year. Yeah, it was a good year. 2008. Oh, 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 I'm so, so happy you had this year. Look, they didn't win the championship, and they got an American League championship ring. Everybody's giving the Phillies a hard time because they gave out National League championship rings. Every team does it. Veteran U.S. Army retired Captain Maxine Riggs to perform the Star Spangled Banner. Presenting the ultimate American Sign Language is Cameron Curry. Sitting behind home plate, the uh, Rays dugout over there. You got DJ Kitty and the Rays cheerleaders. Uh -oh. The crowd is cheering because the Phillies just scored a run, and the crowd is in Tampa. Let's go! So you noticing a difference between uh, these peanuts and other peanuts? Yeah, this one has a horrible logo on it. <laughs> <laughs> I beg to differ. Taste. Oh, taste-wise? <laughs> no, it tastes like regular peanuts. It's just, it's just the ugliest bag in the history of bags. Okay, this is a brand of hot dogs I have not had. I've had the, the, the regular dog, the Trop dog. It's at the regular area, but they have hot dogs here, fresh and tasty. It looks like a different, a little bit longer dog. I think I'm gonna get one of these. All right, I ended up getting, uh, getting one of those hot dogs. I went with some Heinz yellow mustard, no ketchup. Put a little mustard on the foot long dog. <laughs> this is not the traditional foot long that they have at the, the regular Trop dog. It's a different company. Yeah, that's gonna bloop, man. In court is in session. We almost got hit by a foul ball. We almost got hit by a foul ball. Yeah, and later right there. <laughs> we weren't even paying attention and it hit right here. <laughs> almost hit you in the back. Where were you going? I said, Hey Siri, get me a strikeout. That's original. I do. It's the he best. He hasn't never heard that before. Dude, I always find the Philly cheesesteak. You always find the Philly cheesesteak. So we're going to get some more snacks here. They have Philly cheesesteak nachos here at Sizzle. I am going to get Philly cheesesteak nachos. Because the Rays are playing the Phillies and you're from Philadelphia. And you, you probably got a, you're probably depressing. Uh, yeah, take cheese a look at that. So and, they're uh, cooking it right there. They also have hot dogs. Uh, all right, they're making the nachos. So Philly Captain got the cheese, Philly cheesesteak. That's my nachos. Some sort of BBQ sauce. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome. I don't know Thank you very like barbecue much. Sauce. I'm very that excited. Is he that is like, that is hefty. And I paid fifteen dollars for that. I can go at Philly at the Philly Stadium. The cheesesteak's twice the size. Yeah, it's pretty small. Yeah. yeah. The cheesesteak nachos. I think that's going to be better than the Mickey D's one we had yesterday. Uh, it's about the same size and twice the price. I got price. a pretzel. You got a pretzel and cheese. And this was fifteen dollars, and this is probably the most expensive cheesesteak I've ever bought. You got, you got a new subscriber, man. Thank you, thank you. It's there's something wonky. There's something <laughs> off with this cheese. It's a uh, there's something. It was weird. not. It was is it not the meat? Oh. Is it the meat? Person? Look at Raymond over there. He is confused. He's trying to get, get on the field. He wants to charge the mound, even though it's his own team. What the hell is he wearing? What is that? He's wearing a, a red, white, and blue smock. 
Oh, what is this? Is he gonna rip it off like Hogan? Oh, he's taking it off. There he goes. Oh. What is he? He's wearing a moon. Oh, oh. oh my god, I can't believe it. Bring it, Bring it home! No. Schwarber coming in. Speedy Kyle Schwarber! The world's fastest baseball! Bottom of the ninth now. Philly's got the pitcher up that does like the kind of the arm thing. Brandon. Whoa. Like to, he does that thing with his arm. All the Phillies fans on their feet over there. Phillies win. Phillies win game one. Rays did not play a good game, to be honest. Yeah, that was not the best game I've seen the Rays play, but you know what? Can't win them all, but man, not so good. Okay, here is the special Independence Day merch. Also, your team won today. Of course they did. You didn't know. You didn't know that. I told you they were going to win. The Rays didn't show up today. Let's Who? be honest. The Rays didn't show That's up. Okay, the Phillies did. I like them. This is awesome. You're ringing the cowbell? This is like the most annoying thing you can do. It's so great. And I'm really annoying too, I know, believe me. All right, I got a couple hats I think I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get this one, and then also the All-Star Game one. Hold on, let me uh, show this. I'm gonna get the All-Star Game logo right there. I wear a seven to five eight, so I'm gonna get this kind of like retro throwback. I have this one like a yellow, but I like the kind of the like light blue. And then also, the kind of a, a throwback logo there. Also seven and five eighths with Tropicana Field on the side. So yeah, I probably don't really need three new hats, but yeah, I like new hats. I'm getting these three. Three? Yeah. I think I've learned about these hats is once they're gone, you can't get them anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're parting ways. The Tampa Jay, floating behind us, the Philly <laughs> captain. You guys got one. You got this one. They got us. What Good hanging out. Day. I like this. Game. Wasn't this the best game ever? Wasn't no. this the best game ever? I had so much fun. I had so much fun. I'm glad someone did. Huh? No, I had fun. I got a couple new hats. Yeah, you got some new hats. Yeah. I had a great time. Well, I bought you one. I have you bought me one of those There's hats for a race cap. Here, do me a favor. I'll show you what you feel with this. I'm walking back. There's a mural over here. It's like a deer. A fawn on the side of that building there. A lot of really neat artwork here in St. Pete. Also kind of nice, leaving a game and just walking back to the hotel, not even taking a car. Well, this is an interesting little placard. St. Petersburg first benches were placed on this site back in 1908. The very first benches ever. Yeah, the first benches in St. Petersburg. Right, the first benches in St. Petersburg were right here. That's kind of an unusual little marker there. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was going to say something a little more a little more important. And that's going to do it for today from this fountain here in St. Petersburg. It was a fun day. I wish the Rays would have won, played a little bit better, but Phillies had a good pitcher on the mound, really kind of shut it down. Wanted to get the one home run, so it wasn't a complete shutout, but the Phillies won game one. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Independence Day 2023. The vlog is over.